Former Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Farouk Yahaya, who recently retired from the Army after 35 years in service, says the exploits of the Nigerian Army has put the country's adversaries in disarray in all fronts. Nigeria's new Chief of Defense Staff, Major General Christopher Musa, the Chief of Army Staff, Major General Abiodun Lagbaja, and the Chief of the Naval Staff, Rear Admiral Ikechuku Ogala, at the weekend, over the weekend, participated in the traditional pulling out ceremony for Yahya. The Nigerian Army pull-out parade is in line with the military tradition of honoring retiring senior officers of the rank of general who served without blemish. Yahya, in his remarks at the event, says the anti-illegal oil bunkering operations being conducted by troops in the Niger Delta region has continued to yield positive results with attendant increment in oil production, which returned the country to the top of the list of oil-producing countries in Africa. He also charged the Nigerian army personnel not to relent in providing support to the new COS to uh, ensure his successful execution of the constitutional responsibility responsibilities of the Nigerian army. For an extensive analysis, we are now being joined by a RISE analyst, Dayo Shobowale, and he joins us to discuss the statement uh, by former Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Farouk Yahaya, against the backdrop of persisting security challenges in various parts of the country. Good afternoon, Mr. Shobowale. Thank Good you afternoon. for being here with us. It's a pleasure. I'm now, here. I mean, <clears throat> very... Uh, uh, when we talk about procedure, that was what was expected to happen with the new appointment of the new uh, service chiefs and now this pulling out ceremony. And then the comments that were made by, uh, you know, a retired uh, general now. I want to know what your thoughts are, especially against the backdrop of Asari Dokubo's uh, statement. Uh, he made pointing fingers to the military and saying that they were responsible for uh, uh, all thefts, which we know is one of the biggest security issues that we have. What are your thoughts on, on, on well, this, Mr. Well, you see, um, there's an, exp an expression that something can be lost in plain sight. The fact that insecurity is prevalent in Nigeria is no secret to anybody, including the man who made the statement that all the enemies are in disarray. But then, Look, look at the event at which he made it. Mm. He was being honored. He was being pulled out. Whereas the way the service chiefs were replaced, they were sacked for inefficiency. It was obvious. You see, the Nigerian military or the Nigerian our own hmm, type of democracy is still living under the shadow of military intervention. So I would say our democracy is militarized. Otherwise, if somebody is dismissed, how can you organize a parade? It's not done in private sector. It's not done in public sector. That's an anomaly that is there. And all the new chiefs were there. So you know what that portends in terms of continuity, mm. efficiency, in terms of security soiree or I mean Asari. I mean you're almost corroborating part of Asari Dokubo's statement where he said that I, I had no argument with uh, Dokubo. Yeah. I, I have no argument. Dokubo said he was the one in charge of security, mm -hmm. not the army. Mm -hmm. And then the army chief was sacked and the army chief is being honored and the army chief has said he has scattered all the enemies but the Nigeria. question now, okay, the this big question is... like is, the proverbial ostrich with the head buried in the sand. Now, the big question is this. Yes. <clears throat> um, sometimes people make political statements for the sake of making political statements and not probably meaning what they say. Is that the case? Because, like you've said, it seems to be living in a bubble because reality on ground is different from uh, what he has said. Let me dilate. Okay. Let me dilate. You see, it is a culture of impunity for you not to deter inefficiency, which is what is happening now. Mm -hmm. These people were sacked. But the culture is, is, is part of the Nigerian military tradition. The last set of service chiefs were sacked 
after the, the security got almost intolerable, they were killing even uh, military officers in Abuja. They were opening uh, prison gates for people. But you see, the last set of military chiefs were given ambassadorial positions. Mm. Do you get me? That's a reward, in my view, for inefficiency. But it seems to be part of our culture. How can a civilian president sack service chiefs and a new set of service chiefs are now president at a pull-out parade for somebody who was sacked for insecurity? Do you sort out that anomaly? There's something in Congress and not okay. No, but some will say that, that. Some will say that it's... It, so just, for the Kubo, yes. to say what he has said, mm -hmm. you can't dismiss his claim. Do you get me now? And you will expect if the... Okay, what all the military said was that it should name, uh, uh, it should name some the military name officers. Name and it's, upon, it's upon you to prove but if you are the one accusing. But a person who is a, not a soldier, mm -hmm. at best is a, is a warlord, you get me, who was given contract because he himself was a security risk before now, to be literally challenging the army. You know, something is wrong. Mm. But then, you are Nigerians, you know the situation of the country, the Northwest, in the Northeast. Eh? And we all know that our security has been ethnicized, politicized, and religion plays a major part. And you see, it may, it may, it may, people may not want us to say it, but the full enhancement feel emboldened. Boko Haram feel emboldened. And the army seems no, not fully prepared to really take them on. Okay. For religious reasons. Okay. And we all know that. Yes. So, so it's like, well, sorry, it's no, like, okay. you see, we, we, you carry a knife to a gun, gun fight. Mm. The, okay. the result is predictable. Mr. Shibari, let's talk about, let's talk solutions. Now, we mm -hmm. know it's, it's, this is uh -huh. not news. The new service chiefs definitely have their work cut out for them. Now, key areas, you know, focus would be on insurgency, banditry, you know, the header clashes, agitations in the southeast, and even crude oil theft. But what are your expectations going forward when, you know, starting to create a strategy that works to get me, Nigeria me, out of insecurity? Let me, let me answer your question. Yes. Uh, uh, you know, the police chief has spoken. Okay, I had an interview with the police chief the other day. And my take is that policing is for internal security. Army is for external uh, security. But you see, if your borders are porous, if, you can, if, you, if people infiltrate your border and they are causing havoc, invariably it becomes the work of the police. What I will expect now is what it is in the papers, what the new police chief has said, get me? that he will do community policing, mm. will gather intelligence and make sure internally Nigeria is safe. Get me? It is a joint effort. The Air Force is there, the Navy is there. You see, I will not say the Army chief totally failed because he brought in something. He was more interested in financial contribution that he, he sacked the oil pirates and our uh, oil revenue increased, and that's our lifeline. That's an achievement. But you know, overall, we are in a perilous state of insecurity. Get me? And people have suggested that we need to be proactive in the way we plan, you see, and do better intelligence gathering. It is a pity that the army chief that uh, it's been pulled out, was head of counter-terrorism and counter-insurgency when he came in. So he was very, very familiar with the territory to which he was going. But the result is predictable. He okay. did not succeed. If he did, he would not have been removed. All right, of yeah. course, um, <clears throat> whether he succeeded or not is still very debatable. But uh, let me just draw your attention to one thing first before we actually move on. You cannot tell the current service chiefs not to celebrate their boss because you know that in the military, they are always as tight as thieves, as some people say. You, you and are, certainly... You are not a military man. 
I was. Um, I don't need to be in the military. Oh, no, you, I was, look, you look like one. Anyway. <laughs> no, but the, no, the truth is this. No, the truth is this. I. Uh, I, I have, know. I know the military culture. Mm -hmm. I, I, okay, I'm a student of military intervention okay. and politics. No, but what I'm saying yes. to you now, based uh, from experience, I was born in the military, mm. grew up in the military, almost did everything in the military. So I would tell you that you know you you attacking the service chiefs for celebrating. Someone they look up to, um, someone who they see as their I'm boss. Not, I was not attacking them. I was making an observation. They, and they, I was they saying have no is, choice. No, no, no. Because these are... Who drafted them there? What do you mean by they have no choice? They have no choice that no, to celebrate friend, we their have, boss. Look, we have, we have army. Yes. We have navy. Yes. We have uh, air force. Yes. Yes. They, all of them don't need to be there. They can pull out the army, pull out the something. Yes. Look, there's something that normal loss. In the sacked military boss, be celebrated by his mates. It's not. It's not done. It's that not, is. It is, it is that not, is from. The, is called, not that's from the perspective of the civilians or 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 the probably. The, Are you under military rule now? No, that's but that's said, that's this is said, between the military and, and the military. This is this is between military, the military and their colleagues celebrating their colleagues Who was is sad. whether sacked or not. Whether sacked or not, okay, celebrating so their boss and their are, colleagues I is say, something that they do. You don't do. know why they were sacked. Mr. Insecurity. Mm. What are you defending? You are I'm not, def not supposed to be on that side. No, you don't get what my are, point. I don't get your point. In the military, in the uh, military, uh, honor is, is always Nigeria key. Is military barracks? No, but that happened uh, in the military uh, barracks. Uh, uh, you put it happen in the military barracks. You cannot do it in the You cannot condemn them for doing what they feel is right and what is their culture. That's why I say... Our democracy is getting militarized, and that is dangerous. So, Mr. If I, a man does not perform well in the public sector, in the private sector, given a query, you are fired. He, 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 he did not perform well. That's you don't want the party for you when you are. Uh, no, that is why he was fired. But, but to was, say that within the military, they should not honor their boss that is leaving. I say it's abnormal loss to in a democracy. The service chief is removed. Yes. For no performance. Yes. And then you roll out the drums. You see how within the other. military. Within the military. Within, I mean, oh, come on. even like in oh. real. Do they, they are, really are, exist in the vacuum? <laughs> they don't exist in the vacuum. You are defending the indefensible. No, I'm yeah. not. If, if, <laughs> they if probably they went to the Eagle Square, no, if they listen. probably went to the Eagle Square if and want. they called both uh, civilians and the military to celebrate an outgoing um, service chief. Yeah, that's where you no. might have a qualms about that. Mm -hmm. But within their own ranks, mm -hmm. and they've decided to honor one of their own, like Who in the Navy, they always say, no. on war together, that is their motto. You cannot say, why should you do then, that? Then why are you say, why are you trying to say that what the man is saying contradicts what is on the ground in terms of performance. It no, in terms of say, performance is one thing. This, this, this honor is another thing. Pull out parade ceremony is it's, it's in line honor. with the military tradition of honoring retiring officers of the and rank what, of what general the who of served the service with, who that. served without blemish. What is uh -huh. at a certain look, time they were subordinates to the, the service chief. The statement of the uh, army chief yes. was clear. I was thanking God that he spent 35 years. You get me? Mm -hmm. And that he tried to build that army based on efficiency, stability, and uh, flexibility. But then, all those didn't work out in terms of the result of insecurity on the ground. Yeah. Did they work out? They did not. And several so of them, you, now you should also remember that several of them do. have actually given their lives in this fight for insurgency. Yes. They've seen their own mates yes. actually killed and actually maimed time and time again. Yeah. So if they decide to celebrate someone that has lived the full course and is actually stepping aside at the moment, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. We the did the military the word, That's the word in failure. Mm. Clean. So, what would have, what would your preference have been, Mr. Shabuwali? What would you oh, have rather that people, they did? Should they have skipped this tradition that they've done for course. years and years? Because of they can get all their emoluments. But you don't, ah, okay, I said now the former services, they were given uh, uh, diplomatic um, posts. But which is worse? That and what? this. Uh -huh, I said that's the tradition. What are you doing? You are a poor lawyer. 
for <laughs> what the military. I'm telling you. Okay, okay, let's. Why are you defending? I'm not defending. I'm I, just trying to set the record straight. I'm saying our politics is democratized. I mean, it's mainly our uh, democracy is militarized. If not, people who will not perform well, they keep people on their uh, on their watch, and you reward them. Hmm. You hold uh, lavish party, okay, fool them. Chibale. So if they if they are successful, what will you do? You carry them to heaven. I think that's but regardless, good. everyone, Mr. Shabani, yeah. that's a okay. good place to, to, to end it. <laughs>